Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. The bold and the beautiful spoilers. Il Giardino's comeback event, Sheila plans Carter and Hote's wedding. The bold and the beautiful spoilers suggest that Sheila Sharp, Kimberlyn Brown, may find herself a little busy in the next few weeks. Sheila is trying her best to stay out of trouble, but she might need a little help in that category. But what can she do to entertain herself? The bold and the beautiful spoilers reveal that Deacon recently opened up to Sheila about his concerns for Hope Logan, Annika Noel. Of course, Sheila gave him a friendly shoulder and may have been putting some ideas together in her head. What will Sheila come up with that might catch Hope's attention? Sheila will have some time on Halloween to interact with Carter Walton, Lawrence St. Victor. Of course, the subject of Hope is likely to come up considering how attracted to her that Carter is. It seems that Sheila may figure out just how Carter feels about Hope and could jump in to help him to make sure Hope know it too. Sheila might decide that Carter needs a little push to let Hope know exactly how he feels. Sheila has seen some of Hope's relationships come and go and could convince Carter that he is the perfect man for her. Sheila may even push Carter to the point of proposal. Of course, if they do get married, they have to have the wedding at Il Giardino and Sheila could gladly plan the wedding. Carter seems to always move fast when it comes to romance. Carter also jumps into proposals very quickly. Could Hope get swept up into Carter's passion for their relationship's future? Carter could tell Hope all about the future he has planned for them. Hope may feel more at ease with Carter than she ever did Thomas Forrester, Matthew Atkinson. Is Hope ready to marry again? Sheila may certainly get Carter riled up about this wedding and explain how much it could help business at Il Giardino, especially after the murders that occurred there. Sheila could make this the wedding of the century if she is given the chance. Will Carter jump in and follow suit? Is Hope the woman for Carter? Carter and Hope could do very well working together, especially if they were a couple as well. Carter is already sharing things with Hope that he wouldn't share with most people. Could these two be a powerhouse leader on their own? Will Carter and Hope end up married yet? Sheila kind of owes Hope one for being her bridesmaid. Might she even return the favor? At El Giardino, the beloved Italian-inspired restaurant nestled in the heart of Los Angeles, an air of celebration was palpable. The restaurant, long a hot spot for family gatherings, romances, and drama in equal measure, was finally reopening its doors after extensive renovations. The occasion had become the talk of the town, drawing in residents from near and far who were eager to see the new design, sample the fresh menu, and, most intriguingly, discover what kind of intrigue the evening might hold. But this wouldn't be any ordinary reopening. The guest list was packed with big names, both expected and surprising, and everyone knew a drama or two was almost guaranteed. No one, however, could predict that Shyla Carter, recently returned to Los Angeles after yet another stint in prison, would make the night unforgettable. Sheila was a master of many things, seduction, manipulation, and revenge, to name a few. But despite her many dubious achievements, she had yet to make her mark as an event planner. Tonight, she aimed to do just that, with one audacious objective in mind, bringing together two people she believed were meant to be, Carter Walton and Hope Logan. Both were tied to the Foresters, and Sheila was confident that uniting them would disrupt the family in ways no one had dared imagine. Since her return, Sheila had been observing Carter from afar, admiring his sense of loyalty and commitment. His romantic entanglements had always been complicated, but his connection with Hope had been brewing ever since they'd shared a chance encounter at the beach. Carter had opened up to Hope in ways he hadn't with anyone else, and Sheila, ever the opportunist, saw potential. Hope was coming out of her tumultuous relationship with Liam Spencer, 
and the idea of a fresh start, especially with a man as stable and honorable as Carter, was beginning to resonate with her. Sheila's plan was deceptively simple. She would disguise her intentions under the guise of Il Giardino's reopening, turning it into an engagement party without either Carter or Hope realizing it. With a few well-placed whispers, she had arranged for a proposal that would look entirely spontaneous. The evening would play out as if by fate, leaving both parties believing they had naturally gravitated toward each other. All Sheila needed was the right setting and a spark to set everything into motion. As the evening began, Il Giardino gleamed with sophistication. The design was a balance of rustic Italian charm and modern elegance, and the tables were adorned with intricate floral arrangements. Champagne flowed, laughter echoed, and cameras flashed as the guests arrived one by one. Ridge, Brooke, Steffi, and other Forrester mainstays mingled with Logan family members, all putting aside past grievances for the night. Amid this carefully constructed ambience, Sheila moved like a ghost, slipping between guests unnoticed, her eyes firmly fixed on her two targets. Hope arrived first, her radiant smile hiding her recent heartbreak. She had been looking forward to this night, a rare evening to let loose and find some joy amidst the chaos of her personal life. Little did she know that Sheila's eyes were on her, keenly observing her every movement, looking for just the right moment to set her scheme in motion. Carter arrived shortly after, exuding his usual charm and warmth. His own love life had been a series of highs and lows, his relationship with Quinn having recently ended in a spectacularly messy way. Tonight, he just wanted to relax, reconnect with friends, and enjoy the night. Sheila, however, had a much different vision for him. As the evening progressed, the guests dined on lavish dishes inspired by classic Italian cuisine. The lights dimmed slightly, and a live jazz band took the stage, serenading the room with a sultry rendition of that last. Sheila slipped through the crowd, strategically steering Carter and Hope toward each other's path. At precisely the right moment, she signaled a waiter to bring over a bottle of Prosecco to their table, making it seem like an anonymous gift. Here's to new beginnings, she whispered, her voice just loud enough for Hope and Carter to hear as she subtly faded back into the crowd. Hope laughed lightly, a bit flustered as Carter raised his glass, toasting with her. Their conversation started innocently, recalling old memories and mutual friends. But as the night wore on, they found themselves lingering on topics both more personal and profound. Sheila watched, satisfaction gleaming in her eyes as their casual banter turned into something more. She knew the exact moment they both realized a spark was there, one neither of them had felt in a long time. Then came the pivotal moment. Sheila had planned every detail, down to the placement of a bouquet of roses, mysteriously appearing on their table. Attached was a small note, which Hope opened with a mix of curiosity and hesitation. Inside, in Sheila's carefully disguised handwriting, were the words, when one door closes, another opens. Follow your heart always. The note struck a chord in Hope, still grappling with the end of her marriage. As she met Carter's gaze, her defenses melted away, and she felt a clarity she hadn't felt in months. Perhaps, she thought, this night was about more than just a restaurant reopening. Carter took her hand in his, his eyes filled with warmth and understanding. He didn't speak, but in that moment, words weren't needed. Sheila, unseen by the couple, grinned like a Cheshire cat. The evening might have ended there, a quiet, intimate beginning for the new couple, had Sheila not planned a final that would ensure their bond, and her mark on it, would be permanent. Just as Hope and Carter stood to leave, Sheila signaled the band to play a lively Italian tarantella. As the crowd clapped in rhythm, Sheila herself appeared on the dance floor, dramatically proposing a toast to love. 
She held up her glass, smiling at Carter and Hope, as if they were her own family. Love is a rare and precious thing, Sheila declared, her voice filled with feigned warmth. And I believe tonight we've all witnessed the start of something truly beautiful. She raised her glass higher, and the crowd joined in the toast, oblivious to Sheila's hidden intentions. But not everyone was fooled. Across the room, Rich Forrester watched Sheila with narrowed eyes. He knew Sheila's history too well to believe she was acting out of pure goodwill. But for tonight, he held his tongue, deciding to let the evening unfold, all while resolving to keep a close watch on her in the days to come. As the night wound down, Carter and Hope left El Giardino hand in hand, caught up in the intoxicating thrill of possibility. Neither of them realized the extent of Sheila's orchestration or the fallout that would likely follow. But for now, they basked in the warmth of a new beginning, blissfully unaware that their love story was the product of Sheila's careful, calculated manipulation. Back at El Giardino, Sheila watched them go, satisfaction glinting in her eyes. Her plan had worked better than she'd hoped, but she knew this was only the beginning. Now that she had orchestrated this union, she would be watching closely, ready to swoop in at the first sign of trouble. For Sheila Carter, the ultimate puppet master, the game was just beginning.